Well, happening right now, Denver's mayor laying out a new plan to help immigrants while spending less money than initially projected. Yeah, this was a big update yesterday. Lisa D'Souza breaking down the details behind the $90 million effort. But at one point, they thought it was going to be twice that price, right? Right, so this is a drastic change. This number has obviously been cut in half earlier this year. Yes, we were talking about $180 million, but as the number of migrants coming into Denver has gone down, so has the money for these efforts. So let's get into some of the numbers here. Take a look at your screen for this year. Just under $90 million expected to be spent. Here's a look at where the majority of that money would go. You can see it's mostly toward housing at nearly $52 million. And here is where the money would come from exactly. You've got nearly 46 $6 million from budget cuts and other tweaks. The city says that most comes from the vacancy savings category you see there. That basically means that there are open positions, open jobs that will not be filled or our staggered hiring adding again cuts much less of course than we initially thought and here's more funding not necessarily tied to cuts another estimated 44 million dollars 9 million specifically coming from FEMA. The mayor weighing in on the city taking on much of the financial burden. We, we spent a lot of time, as you know, this January and February advocating at the federal level for support here. Uh, there was a bipartisan bill to do that that failed in the House. You know that story. Uh, I think what we found at that point is whether we would like the federal government to do it or not, that was no longer a choice for us. All right, so there you have it. We got a full breakdown of, again, the budget at stake here and exactly how much money is going to everything up on our website. Just click on a link to this story. Live in Denver, Lisa D'Souza, Fox 31. All right, thank you, Lisa.